guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Super glad you decided to join. Today, that would be Buzz in the background. Rude. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Morphe makeup. I did pick up enough to do a full face and first impressions. I'm gonna be honest, the whole reason I'm doing this video is because the Jaclyn Hill 2 palette was on sale and your girl snatched it up because that is not in my collection. I've wanted it for a while. So I just kind of figured since I was shopping anyways, I would get everything to do a full face. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And as always, if you like this video, please, please, please give it a cheesy thumbs up. That really helps me know the content you guys like to watch. And as always, if you want to stick around, go ahead and hit the little subscribe button. I'd love for you to join the Little Jonesy fam. And if you hit the bell, you will get notified of new videos, which I post twice a week. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, I have zoomed you guys in so you can come along with me as I apply everything. I will say the two things I did not buy was a face primer and an eye primer just because it you guys it takes forever to get through primers so rather than using a face primer I did put on SPF today and it's kind of a dewy SPF so I'm just gonna use that as my primer so for foundation I actually picked up something new to Morphe it's the Morphe 2 hint hint skin tint and I got it in the shade well please Hint of Marshmallow. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. I actually really love it. Um, I think it's really pretty. It kind of has a frosted glass and I'm assuming this is a eyedropper. Yeah, it is. It's an eye, kind of like an eyedropper situation. So this is fairly new. Um, the people I follow, I have not heard talk about this as I drop stuff. So, just to give you some more information about this, this is directly from the Morphe website. It says, keep it easy, this lightweight yet long wearing fluid tint hydrates and provides buildable sheer to medium coverage. The naturally, naturally radiant finish lets your skin shine through while also smoothing and blurring imperfection. You'll be looking fresh faced just with a few drops. So it says it lasts up to 16 hours. It's water resistant, sweat resistant, and transfer resistant. And it hydrates skin for up to 12 hours, seals in moisture and nourishes dry skin. And it's non chemodonic I don't know if I said that right, and vegan. So it says to apply, shake it, and start with one to two drops and build to your desired level of coverage. Apply using a synthetic brush, sponge, or your fingers. And it does say you can wear it up to three ways where you can mix one to two drops in, um, into your moisturizer and apply with your fingertips, um, one to two drops with your fingers or a synthetic brush, or you can apply one to two drops with a brush. So I think I'm gonna try one side maybe with my finger and the other side with a brush. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, so. I'm just gonna try doing this directly onto my face and I will take my fingers on this side. So this is definitely super sheer, but I will say I think it gave me a little bit of coverage because I'm sure you guys saw I had some little imperfections and blemishes right there. Ugh, when will those ever go away? I think I'm gonna put one more drop right here just to see if I can get that to build a little more and really cover that imperfection that's going on. No one wants to see that. No one has time for that, boo. This I think definitely has a dewy finish to it. I don't know if it's from my sunscreen, but I can definitely see the sheen in this area. Not bad applying it with your fingers, honestly, and I think I did pretty good on the shade range as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just drop a few drops on my face on the other side, and I am going to use a brush for this side. I haven't used brushes in a while. I feel like I've been getting stuck on using a sponge to blend my face makeup. I'm gonna try with a, a uh, brush and see how it 
it goes. This is just the e.l.f. powder brush. I know it's a powder brush. I actually really like it for foundation. So let's just see. like the way this applies with a brush better than think. It definitely went a lot faster <laughs> applying it with a brush. I do like that you can still see like my natural skin coming through this too, which obviously I think that's the point of this. Um, I'm going to add a few more drops just onto the cheek like I did with the other side just to build up that area a little bit. My cheeks naturally have some redness to them. So let's see. looks really nice actually so first impressions I like it um, I'm gonna keep using it obviously just to see if my skin has a reaction to it if my face does stay hydrated um, if any of that redness comes back throughout the day so we'll definitely see how it wears but first impressions um, I like it you guys I'm so mad at myself going through my box of crap here I did buy a foundation primer Katie, I swear I do this every single time I buy makeup. Ugh. All right, well, I obviously my foundation is on, so I can't use this. However, I have heard decent things about this. It's just their foundation primer. This is the Revitalizer, which I think it's supposed to be hydrating. I have dry skin, so that's definitely appealing to me. I'm just should have looked through everything before I started. Katie, come on. All right, we're gonna breeze past that little uh, side step there. Next up is foundation. I did buy the Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. Here's what it looks like in the bo box. I have shade C1.25, that this is soft matte, I think is the shade. Ooh, this looks very light, which I mean, I am very light, but ooh. So, Here's what it looks like in the packaging. And yeah, it's C1.25, and I believe it's just a doe foot applicator. Yep. So I've heard mixed things about this concealer. Um, I'm gonna do one eye first just to see how it does. I've heard it is very full coverage, but I've also heard it's kind of drying, which I have, Fine, like I'm getting really fine lines right under here. And obviously like concealer settles, obviously like concealer always settles in my fine lines. But if a concealer is dry, it makes it that much harder for me to work with because I do have dry skin. So we're gonna see. Um, I'm blending this in for, with a brush. It's This is the Luxie 512. This is just the small contouring brush. But again, I like using it for concealer. Ooh, that is definitely brightening, you guys. Wow. I feel like this was the best shade, though, because I didn't want, like, I have a very neutral undertone, so I didn't want to buy something that was too pink undertone or too yellow, so I figured I'd go this way so that it conceals, but it's also brightening. Man, it is really brightening, though. Like, it's almost like a white. And, oh, man, this wasn't even the lightest shade that they had. Can you guys see a difference? I definitely can see it concealed a little bit and I think it brightened. Um, I don't feel like this is the best concealer I've ever used though, which my favorite concealer right now is the NARS concealer. I have been obsessed with that. I used to really love um, Shape Tape, but again, I think that is a little bit more of a dry concealer, so. That is the one I've been loving right now. I'm also testing out a new one from a brand called Il Maquillage. I don't know why I said it like that. It's fun, I guess. Which I have not really heard anything about them. I just think right now they have foundation and concealer. Um, don't quote me on that, but that's what I remember from their website. I'm testing both out and it is a pretty decent concealer. I don't know if I love it more than my NARS one, but it's decent. So yeah, I, I feel like this is not gonna be good for me today. It definitely, I think, 
concealed and brightened, but like these fine lines, it looks very cakey to me, which I'm not mad that it settles in fine lines. Every single concealer does that. I just think it's gonna be a little too dry for my ideal concealer. So first impressions are, uh, eh? Well, we'll have to see how it wears today, you guys. So I don't think I fi picked up a um, setting powder. I did double check my box, you guys. I'm not lying about that. But I did pick up a, um, this is the F8 Fair Play Complexion Pro palette. This is just what it looks like in the packaging. Let me open it real quick. So that's what the palette looks like. I'm hoping it will have maybe a lighter setting powder that I can use that doesn't have shimmer in it. If it looks like it does, that is fantastic. So here is what the palette looks like. Um, I'm actually going to use this for my setting, my bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is the brightener shade. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques. Uh, this is the setting brush. Really love this to set my under eyes. And also you guys, this has a very large mirror. You can see all the crap on my desk. Um, I do really appreciate that. Yeah, I can tell you I don't think I'm gonna like that concealer because I feel like I put this powder on and I think my skin just looks cakey. So I'm gonna take back my mat and go, no, <laughs> on the concealer. All right, so for bronzer, I think I'm actually going to swatch these three shades. It's these two are considered bronzers and then this one is considered a contour. So that is what they look like swatched. I think I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here. This one just looks a little too light, even for me, but I don't know, maybe that would be perfect. Maybe I should try that. Okay, so I actually think I am gonna try the lightest color bronzer first. Um, I'm gonna go in, this is a, I think it's a crown brush. I think it came in like a boxy charm. I really love this brush for bronzing. I just think it's the perfect size and shape. So shake. Yeah, that bronzer is very, very light. Which I will say, I think if I'm going for a soft look, it's kind of nice because it warms up the face just a little bit. It's not, um, fuzzy in there. It's not overpowering. Let's just try to build that a little bit. I don't feel like it's building as much as I want it to, so I'm gonna go in with um, some of the darker shade of the bronzer and just tap that in. Yeah, that definitely. Can I not, you guys, can I not find a happy medium? I just put way too much on. So I guess knowing that maybe it is better, there I fixed it. Maybe it is better to use the lighter one on my skin tone because that is very pigmented. So you just have to be careful with the darker shades. I think I'm still gonna try using the darkest shade here. I feel like that showed up decently well. Just kind of blending it out a little more so it doesn't look like there's a big splotch of dirt on my face. Does anyone else experience that when you put on bronzer, you just feel like you have like dirt on your face? I feel like that happens to me a lot. <laughs> okay, I will say I kind of like putting on bronzer more with a sponge than I do with a brush. I just think it's a little easier to control. I also really like cream bronzers for that reason. I just think they blend out a little better. See, that side looks much better. Like literally dirt. <sighs> Fixing a lot of mistakes today, you guys. <laughs> so first impression on the bronzer, I do think the shades are nice. I like that they give you three different options for whatever you're looking for. So for blush, there are two options. There's kind of a pearly color and then there's a really nice pink. I apologize that the colors are kind of washed out on camera. It is very rainy here in Ohio today and that is not great for my lighting. So 
The swatches look pretty decent though. I think I'm actually gonna try this peachy shade. I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna go on with the Sephora brush. I apologize, I don't actually know the name of it. It just came in a gift set. And just gonna go into this blush. Tap, 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 because that's a lot. I think that's really pretty. Kind of gives like a really natural glow. Obviously I could build it up more. I kind of like the way that looks though. All right, I lied, I built it up just a tad more. But I think that's really pretty. So for highlights, um, the palette does have two highlighters as well. One is a pinky that does look like it has some glitter and then one is a little more golden. This is the pink, this is the gold. Swatching, I think you will be able to see better. I apologize, it's not really showing up great on camera. This is the gold, this is the pink. The, this pink is a little bit of a duochrome. It kind of has like a golden shift to it. And like I said, there's also some glitter in it. So I think I might lightly try to use that pink. And again, like I've said multiple times, I do not like glitter on my face, but I think if I apply it lightly, it could look really pretty. So I am going to go in, this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. Going into the shade right here, just a little bit. And I really like this brush for highlight because it's a little more um, flimsy. So I feel like it kind of disperses the product really beautifully. Uh. I don't know if I like this. There's definitely glitter in it and I do think it does come across on your skin that way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, I apologize for the lighting today, you guys. It's not great. So I'm gonna try the gold on the other cheek. Yeah, that looks much better for me. That's okay, that's the reason we're testing. So I will say, the highlighter is definitely, the golden one is probably more what I will use, um, just because I don't like the glitter in that pink one. But overall, I do think this is a great palette. I like that everything is just kind of in one. It's great to travel with. It gives you a couple different options. So I think the palette as a whole is really great and I would recommend it. I think the quality is definitely there. Okay, I'm gonna move on to brows. I bought, this is the Micro Brow Pencil and I got the shade Mocha, which I think it should be a good shade. I feel like my brows can kind of go either way because they're kind of light, but I also can fill them and darker and I think it would look just fine. Um, so it does have a spoolie on one end and then obviously it's just a fine micro tip on the other. I think this color will work. Kind of a medium brown. So I'm just gonna quickly fill my brows. So I'm just kind of filling them in just to make them look a little better, but I don't really do too much as far as shaping them or putting like brow gel in them. It's just not my thing. Maybe, you know, maybe this year I'll become obsessed with it, but probably not. <laughs> So I think that brow pencil worked pretty well. Um, it was really easy to get the product off of the pencil and running, running it through my brows. So I do appreciate that. Now I also think you can get brow pencil, brow, brow pencils, like can't I say that, from a drugstore that are a little bit more affordable. So I mean, that's just up to your own discretion, whatever you wanna buy. Okay, you guys, it is the moment I have been waiting for because like I said, I, I did this video, this video idea came from the fact that Jaclyn Hill's palette was on sale and I love her first palette. So I was really excited to see her palette was 30% off. So that's the reason I bought this all of these products. On my eyes, I just put on my Ulta eye primer. Like I said, I did not buy an eye primer. So let's bring out her beautiful palette. So excited, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, it's even prettier in person. So here's the palette. I, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm pumped. 
I do have some stuff to do today, so I'm not gonna do like a really fun look like I want to. Uh, I will save that for a future video. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a tad bit more to focus on my eyes. So I think to start out, I am going to take the color Perfectionist, which is right here. And I am going to apply that, apply that in the crease. And I'm just taking, this is a Morphe brush. It doesn't even say what it is. It's just a fluffy blending brush. She's pretty, she's nice. I think I'm gonna go in with Thick Skin, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna put that in the crease as well. The only thing I don't like about these palettes, I wish it had a mirror, because if it had a mirror, then everything would be perfecto. Oh man, you guys, these shades are so pigmented. Oh my God. All right, I'm just gonna take a plain brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH 30H, and I'm just going to blend those edges a little bit. I feel like on camera, it's coming off a lot more orangey than it is in person, which is unfortunate because I think in person, it's a little more pinky mauve toned, but that's okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna, gonna go in a warm direction. I'm gonna take the shade next, which is this one right here, as I dip my finger in all the other shadows. And I'm going to put this in my outer corner. You guys, these shadows are just so pigmented and beautiful. And I'm not getting any fallout. Wow. Okay, going back in with that shade just a little more. Wow, so beautiful. Okay, I think I'm just gonna make it simple and just do a shimmer on the rest of the lid. I'm intrigued about this shade right here, Drama Queen. So I'm just gonna take my finger. Oh my gosh, you guys. Man, beautiful. And I'm just gonna plop that right on the lid. So I feel like it's much prettier on my finger than it's coming off on. Actually, I think that's pretty. Oh yeah, she is beautiful. I think I'm gonna take Ride or Diamonds, which is this shade right here, and just put a little in the center. Man, that is just gorgeous. Ooh. Word of the day is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I know like I shouldn't be impressed because I've used her first palette, but boy, mama is impressed. Okay, I'm just gonna take a smudger brush. This is the Royal, I don't know. It's just a smudger brush, you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the shade Next again, and I'm just gonna put that underneath my lash line. Wow, that is just stunning. Okay, I'm gonna take the Morphe, this is the E18 brush, and I'm just gonna take the shade. So I'm gonna take the shade I'm in it and put that in my inner, and then I'm gonna take the shade Certified and put that on my brow bone highlight. Again, I should not be shocked because I've used her first palette before, but literally, I can't help it. It's so pretty. Oh my God, look, look at that brow bone highlight. Shut up. So I'm going to do my other eye real quickly and then we will come back and talk about eyeliner. Okay, you guys, the other eye is done. So moving on to liquid liner. I picked up, this is just the felt tip liquid eyeliner in the shade Ink. So this is what it looks like. Just very standard felt tip pen. So I'm not the best at doing liquid liner guys, just because my eyelids are getting kind of textured because I'm getting old, I'm aging. So if it does not look great, do not judge me. Um, 
I'm gonna be honest, I think that was the fastest I've applied my liquid liner in a very long time. Wow, just so easy. Wow, okay, 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 okay. Let me go ahead and do the other eye and then we will talk about mascara. So going back to the liquid liner real quick, I did wanna say this. I think the reason this worked for me, it is a felt tip liner. Typically I like brush tip, but it is very flexible. And I think that's the reason it works so well. Sometimes felt tips are really hard and I feel like that's why I always mess it up. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and try to show you on my hand how flexible it is. You guys see how flexible that is? And I mean, also very, very black, but the fact that it's so flexible, it was very, very easy to apply it. So I can't speak for wear time or waterproof or whatever. Obviously I will see how the day goes, but first impression is, wow, I may have just found my new <laughs> liquid eyeliner. All right, moving on to mascara. I just picked up a travel size. This is the Make It Big mascara. Um, this is just in the shade Bold Black. Again, mascaras are one of those things. Obviously, I will always go through it and use it, but in case I didn't like it, I wanted a small one. So let's see how the brush is. Okay. So the brush you can kind of see is it's like fluffy on both ends and then it kinda is a little skinnier in the middle. I feel like I can make this brush work. So let's see. So first impression, I will say the formula seems very wet, which I don't mind. I kind of like that. I know some people don't. So just something to be aware of. That's one coat. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with another coat just to see how it looks. And I normally do two coats. Anyways, it does seem buildable and I like that it does seem to be really giving my lashes some volume and they're not sticking together either. All right, so mascara's done. Overall, first impressions, I do like it. I think it seems like my type of <laughs> Mascara, like I said, I tend to like a wet formula. I think it's a little easier to work with. That's just my personal preference, you guys. So take it with a grain of salt. And the brush I really liked as well. It was not scratchy, it was very soft. And I do think it gave me some buildable coverage and volume, which, coverage, my gosh. It gave me some buildable um, volume, which I like. Last but not least is lipstick. So I've never tried Morphe lip products at all. So I did pick pick out a kit. This is the Out and a Pout. It's a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip liner. I got it in the shade Nude Pink. Really cute packaging. And I did get a nude color just because that's typically what I wear the most. And I think that'll be easiest for me to tell if I like the formula. And if I do, I will buy some bolder shades. So everything came wrapped super nicely. So here are the products. Like I said, it's just a nude pink. So just a standard lip liner. This is in the shade Backseat Love. And I will do swatches on my hands for you guys. This is the lipstick in the shade. So it's a matte and it's called Wifey. Cute name, cute name. And then here's the lip gloss. And this is in the shade Pop, which I've heard good things about the lip gloss formula. So I'm excited to try it. So let's go in with the liner first. Very creamy formula, you guys. Wow, actually really impressed. It was not dry at all, very easy to work with, and like I said, really creamy. So, gonna go in with the lipstick next. Really cute, there's an M on the bullet. I just think that's a cute little detail.
Again, the lipstick is very creamy. I felt like I had to pull on my lips just slightly to get the color off, but then I think that just might've been like the first layer on the lipstick. And then once it got going, it was a lot easier. The shade I think is a little brown for me. I can definitely make it work, no problem, but just look, I'm hoping the lip gloss might help that a little bit. But overall, I think the shade is pretty, first impression that the formula is nice. Okay, last one, lip gloss. I don't really think that helped the color too much, but that's okay. Um, I don't think this has a smell, at least I can't smell anything as if it does. Overall, I think the lip products are nice and that lip gloss is not sticky at all. Yeah, really comfortable. So I would give A plus to all of the lip products. Obviously I'm giving an A plus to the eyeshadows, eyeliner and mascara. I think eyes and lips were the biggest success today. To finish off, I did buy the, this is the mini continuous setting spray. I've heard this is very powerful. So I'm gonna do a test spritz. I can't smell anything, but I'm gonna hold this far away from my face because it is pretty powerful. It does have a little bit of a scent since spraying it on my face. It's kind of like a perfumey scent. It doesn't bother me, but just something to be aware of. Okay, you guys, that is everything I had for you today. Overall, I think the products were pretty good. I think my least favorite product was the concealer. Again, I'm gonna just see how it wears and I'll make a final decision after that and I'll keep testing it too. You know, maybe there are some tricks that I need to try out with it, but overall, really impressed. And I would say all of this makeup was around $150. So for a full face of makeup, I feel like that's pretty decent. I will keep testing the products, but first impression, I'm really impressed actually. So I would call it a success. So that is all I had for you guys today. Thank you, thank you, thank you if you tuned in as always. I don't care who you are, if you are a guy, a girl, wherever you are in the world, thank you for tuning in. It means the world to me, you guys have no idea. I love making content for you guys. So if you took the time to watch this, whether you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I appreciate you and thank you so much. So that is all, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.